All right. So, a 48-year-old woman who lives in Kenora, Ontario, Canada, is uh, presenting to her general practitioner several weeks after she sustained a projectile type of injury. A small rock hit her right leg while she was mowing the lawn. A few weeks after the incident, a raised prostate varicose lesion appeared on the affected limb with focal lymphangitis. The lesion was irregularly was irregular with sharp borders and overlaid a cutaneous abscess. She reports no fevers, no night sweat, chills, or pulmonary or muscular skeletal complaints. Due to the appearance of the lesion, the general practitioner suspected squamous cell carcinoma. He referred her to a special dermatology clinic where the biopsy specimen was obtained and stained with HNE and special Grocot Gomari methamine silver nitrate stain. Based on the histological findings, the dermatologist concluded that this is a case of which of the following. This is image 1, this is image 2, these are the options. Option A, squamous cell carcinoma. Option B, blastomycosis. Option C, basal cell carcinoma. Option D, sporotrichiosis. And option E, giant keratoacanthoma. Yes, so see this diagram. See what I have drawn over here. Blastomycosis, um, okay, broad base budding. Okay, see this diagram. Broad base budding, as I mentioned. Broad base budding, blastomycosis which is almost similar to your RBC in size. Okay, now we'll talk about the features. It is in Ontario, Canada. Okay, don't worry about this. Okay, small rock hit her and it formed a raised crusted varicose lesion. See, like I mentioned over here, raised crusted varicose skin lesion which with focal lymphangitis. Okay, all right. So this is very, very specific for your blastomycosis along with the image, along with the skin description, like I mentioned over here, it is specific for your blastomycosis. And it is not necessary that there will be pulmonary symptoms or something. As long as the lesion is there, you have to do a skin biopsy and all the stains. And that is how you come to it, that this is not squamous cell carcinoma, this is your blastomycosis. Is it clear to everyone? Are all these four clear to everyone? This is very high yield. And there is a guarantee that you will get questions out of this. If you do not get questions out of this, you might be sitting for the wrong exam. That is the level of IE importance of this is. is and if it was squamous cell carcinoma, you would see those keratin pearls and nest of squamous cells and all that stuff. Okay. See, I never read, I never read the stain. You must have noticed whenever I read the questions, I kind of highlight and underline some part because these are the parts which will actually help you solve the question. That's all. Okay. Don't worry about the stains and all. These things are all fancy and try to confuse you, but don't worry. Okay. These features, like which I highlighted over here, these are more than enough to come to the conclusion and the answer. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.